everyone. So in this video, I'm going to do another problem from the end of chapter 6. So this is problem 6.4.1, in which we have the joint PDF of random variables x and y as shown here. And what we have to do is we want to find the CDF and PDF of random variable v, in which v is equal to maximum of x and y. So what we're looking for is the PDF and the CDF of V. So let's see how we can do that. So we know that X is between 0 and 1 and Y is also between 0 and 1. So when X is between 0 and 1 and Y is between 0 and 1, we know that V is for sure between 0 and 1 because V is the maximum of X and Y. So this implies that The CDF of V, when V is less than 0, is equal to 0. And the CDF of V, when V is greater than 1, greater than or equal to 1, is equal to 1. So what we have to find is to find the CDF of V for when V is between 0 and 1. Alright? So let's do that together. So from the definition of the CDF, we know that the CDF of V can be defined as probability of random variable V being less than or equal to value, some value V. So this can be written as probability of, instead of V, I'm going to write the maximum of X and Y less than or equal to some value V. So when the maximum of x and y is less than or equal to v, we know that x and y will be both less than or equal to some value v, right? Because their maximum is less than or equal to v. So we can write it like this. And now I can use the PDF of x and y in order to find this probability over here. So I'm going to have the double integral. So this double integral is giving me the CDF of v for when v is between 0 and 1. So it's between 0 and v, between 0 and v of 6xy squared dx dy. So y is the limit between 0 and v. If we look here, we want x's and y's less than or equal to v. And we know that both of x and y are greater than or equal to 0. All right? So that would give me the integral from 0 to v of 2x dx. I'm going to separate the integrals. Multiply by the integral from 0 to v of 3y squared dy. And that will give us v squared multiplied by v to the third, and that will be v to the fifth. So this will be the CDF of v when v is between 0 and 1. So if I want to write the CDF that I have for when v is less than 0, I'm going to have 0. For when v is less than or equal to 0, I mean more than or equal, for when v is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1, I'm going to have v to the 5. And for when v is greater than 1, I'm going to have 1. Now, how can I find the PDF? I know that the PDF of V is equal to the derivative of the CDF with respect to V. And that would be equal to, so we're going to have 5V to the 4 when V is between 0 and 1 and 0 otherwise. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.